clip show tao đọc mà bằng con mình tại tại em đàn là nó cũng chứ nó youtube của bọn 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 mai cô và ngày đi đại cực nhóm bàn bom nóm thảm ca đọc bọn bọn xây dên chia và đặt thời chia con lại đọc bọn 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 một số ngón hào bọn mai cô và hào ta hào ta mai cô ta đọc bọn chào thầy sơ và ngày đi đại cực nhóm màu của một bộ chỉ lợi tí bì hai màu cũng tốm đọc bọn 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 ta đã lại cực nhóm mình đọc bọn khơi nhờ bóng bóng mòn để bàn khơi này cũng xa bóng con nó cũng mơ côn bay bốn nẹ đi còn phải chỉ tư chỗ chứ mau chứng đó ông bố mình và hay là biết chỗ chứ mau nơi tí ní còn tự xin chung số kế nó cứ kê đôi chí miền sân miền ai ao dân chỗ tài chẳng ta dân ở chỗ chỗ lẹ nạ và chỗ miền sân đấy dân chỗ khó 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 miền nẹ thì ta bố mô đại tròn nhắn ông bố mình làm đàn tu sna nó không cho nó bỏ bỏ mấy cô là bỏ 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 Hello everybody and here I am again Michael Mock Did you remember about brother Samon that he's so poor he lived in the middle somewhere on the field if nobody lived there in the flood area so when the monsoon season have a lot of rain flood about four to five feet high. They cannot live there. They're just moving around whatever they can find the place and ask everybody around can stay on uh, the higher levels of the land. So, but right now we got uh, someone to helping him donate some food supply and some money. And I told my sister-in-law, her name is Jane Mom, and then she feel so much sadness and she feel like compassion she want to help him so she give me one hundred dollars so i sent to Pubut and putak they are my brother my brother rabut and brother tak is my brother you know <laughs> and we work together because we got the same heart at the heart is brother because we have the same heart and then we feel so much, you know, uh, help them to get out of this uh, poverty life, but we do the best we can helping them. So uh, the old man, his name Samon, his nephew is Ramon, and his uncle is Samon. He is 66 years old and he just come here to help and then we will go to him next. You already see this video, so I post a little earlier and then Puwet and Putak asked them because they hurt their back, both of them, to help them to carry uh, all kind of the food supply from his car. Recently he just got Route 4, 99 Route 4, he paid about uh, 4,500. Uh, really cheap, but uh, what else should he do? He didn't have money too, but we got uh, someone like supporting him and donate some to help him out to buy this car and we can uh, make a load for all kinds of the food supply to take it to everywhere like he found those poor people who live in their very hard condition and situation in their life. He, he can have some, you know, transportation to travel around across the country and helping them to get a little help, you know. We didn't have any budget because we depend on the NATO who have the heart they want to help. And then his uncle Zaman, he go there to help take some supply of the food to take to his nephew. 
So uh, the hell is still the same. Just don't look the different. I hope this is a little help and make them happier. And we will go to the next time too. But uh, but right now we didn't have any more people to donate to helping her. Here some food, and then helping them. Hope uh, all those children they enjoy the food, and that the house look like you can see that. Like I always said, there's no job available. If they have a lot of jobs available around here and in Cambodia, those people are gonna bring good income, and then their life is not gonna be like this. Their life will be better. This rice is 50 kilos. Yes, uh, I don't know how many pounds, but probably over 100 pounds, because one kilo is two pounds and a half. And, but this one is 50 kilos. It's very heavy, over 100 pounds. Maybe can supply for them a month, but we will be uh, there later on if some donator to want to helping them here. Robert, they call him Puwot. Puwot, it means Uncle Wood. Uncle Robert. Yeah. He always uh, want to help that somehow but uh, he work on the charity work uh, every day. So he's so happy to help them out. So I found them at Cambodia. Now they become my brother, same heart. And then we help each other. I just do my part. He just do his part. And then everything seems like uh, we get very smooth to be together and everything just going well and to helping them and go to interview them, whatever they need. But we help a lot of people. We got through this and we're learning from whatever we're doing. But uh, in the United States, I had to apply for non-profit organization too to get those money that people send it to me. So I don't keep it, I just send to him. And whatever they want to help after they see the video and they will helping them. So. So we we'll just ask them some question and how they're doing and how their family and tell them about a general people who donate and keep this to them because my sister-in-law and my mom-in-law gave them $100 but so what he bought the food supply and whatever left over he going to keeping them yeah um this feel it's not for people to live there. They only grow the grass. And this place, it just, the owner just build some, a little, I don't know what they really call it, like a little shed, a little patio to sit in there for the, their employee work there. It's just a shade, you know, to protect them from the sunlight. But after Ramon asking them and they let him to stay there. He probably they need this land soon. He can move out from here to go somewhere else. Don't know where to go. Of course, he is the homeless. He have no home to stay. You can see like some people just stay in the cart. They have one cart like their home. They are just so poor to start from uh, their life because their parents is poor too. After, after Ramon to be their kid, his generation he is poor. If he didn't uh, make it, getting through for the poverty life, he will pass to his children generation. His children can be the same track like him. That if someone uh, is helping them to break this through, you know it's not a. Uh, a lot of money to start their own business. The top to start their life at $500, but uh, we just give him like $50 first. Let's see how he doing. And we keep another 100 how he doing. If he doing well, we keep another 100 to buy more supply in the goods and put it somewhere for sale. But uh, over Cambodia, we don't need to get have the permission to sell along the street or have the bicycle or old motorcycle uh, to take all those 
you know, like fish, like vegetable, something to sell to village to village. We don't have uh, to get permission. He can start his uh, local business right away if they want to, and if they're doing okay or doing better, we give another one hundred to buy something to start their life. But we have been have a lot of people, uh, like uh, homeless children and old people, also people. Uh, getting poor, they cannot afford it, go to the hospital, and then to we help like to start, you know, their own life with the business and stuff, but we couldn't find them a job because there's no job available in Cambodia. So it's hard to find a job. Some job they only have in the city, but uh, the Phnom Penh city, the house rental very expensive too, at least pay thirty dollar a month or fifty dollar a month, seventy dollar a month. But the job is not really paying well too, but uh, the average job that they can get they got paid for two hundred dollar a month at the top pay, but they have to split to pay for electric bill, the water bill, telephone bill and the rental too. You know, it's not that enough. They pay for rentals about um, fifty to seventy dollars and left a hundred twenty dollars. So they have to spend like for their motorcycle gas. They have to spend for telephone. It's a lot of bills, you know, live in the city because uh, a lot of things just uh, for using the modern technology is not like them to use like a thousand years back there for their stove. But uh, in the city, it's a modern technology. You have to spend the money for everything. Even for the gear, it's not for free. They have to pay the money to get. But uh, in this area, they can find a little wood to make in the fire and cook for their food. And they don't have electrical. You know, they don't need it, electrical, because they couldn't even afford uh, any food either. They don't have any money to buy the food. How can they afford a little call a gas stove or something? But I saw they have a little gas stove. It probably the can. They're using the can to cook. Uh, maybe they have money to buy some gas that they put in the can and then they cook it. But but if they don't have money, they have to use the, the hundred year or they have to use a thousand years back there, they use like four stone, four bricks, and then they making the fire, they put like their pot on top of that, and then they cooking it. Yeah, I used to go through all that. Um, I can survive, you know, uh, if they have the water. I used to drink that water too, and everything for shower, for cooking, for everything, but because we have no choice, we have to use it. It's not uh, like America, like we have everything very clean and have USDA here too, but over there they don't have anything. If they're lucky, they find a job and they get paid like $150 a month, it's very good for them. And then they have the better life and can be able to send the kid go to school too. All right, that's all about the story in real life of Brother Samon and his wife and his family. And thank you for your support. And thank you for you will like you. And if you guys would like to help, please click subscribe and click notification bell to receive new video I upload at my channel, My Work, every 6 p.m. at Central Time. And you guys have a wonderful day. Uh, we'll see you guys on the next video. Bye-bye now.